just had a sandwich. Um, I've had a small change of plan. I was aiming to get to Hungary by this Sunday, having to do 100k a day. And I was looking at the map and if I take an extra day and get there on Monday, I could go through the whole of Slovenia almost. And Austria is absolutely gorgeous, but I've been here twice before. And over the last couple of weeks I've seen uh, maybe about 40 or 50 Alpine villages and mostly they're the same kind of thing. <laughs> um, so I, I, I think I'd fancy something a bit different. It means uh, more, more mountain climbing and thus more complaining on camera, but <laughs> excuse me. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's going to be m much more bumpier instead of a smooth downhill to, to Hungary, but um, it's going to be something new. So yeah, I think I'm going to go through Slovenia. And that's the beauty of doing something like this. You can change plans and go somewhere completely different. If you go into a country and you don't like it, you can just turn around and do something else. Not that I have any, not that I don't like Austria. Austria's an, an amazing country and absolutely gorgeous, but um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm itching for something a bit, a bit different. So, <clears throat> uh, Slovenia, Slovenia it is, via Italy. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it there today. I'll probably do tonight in Austria and then cross over tomorrow, but we'll see what I can do in the time. Yeah, off we go. I'm making uh, breakfast um, in a lovely, it's actually a bus stop, <laughs> um, but it's set up like, like a kind of summer house. <laughs> um, so I've got protection from the sun and the wind uh, and a lovely view. Yeah, I think uh, three hours and I'll be in Slovenia. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention last night I had a, a wild boar encounter. But it wasn't. Ooh, lizard. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> you keep seeing these tiny lizards, and as soon as I try and film one, they immediately poof, uh, and, they, and they're gone. Um, but yeah, I had a, a wild boar encounter last night. Nothing, nothing bad happened. But I'm noticing I'm starting to develop more primitive uh, skills and heightened senses, which, which I, it's quite, which is quite nice, I think. <laughs> I was able to. Oh, there he is. Let's get yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm starting to develop more kind of like primitive or, or, or atavistic skills where I was able to smell the wild boar and I go, wild boar. Um, and then I hear a kind of grunt to confirm. I think it must have just been sniffing my bike because there's lots of food on it and then it, it went away quite quickly. But I'm, I, I know the smell of the deer, the smell of the wild boar and <laughs> uh, it's a small thing but it, it I don't know, I, I guess I'm very slowly adapting to more of a kind of caveman sensibility which I say while 
cooking pasta in a bus stop, but... <laughs> Um, a very beautiful valley uh, but I'm about to turn off and start another mountain climb I don't think it's that big though I can see it but there's trees in the way at the moment hang on I'll show you uh, I think it's that ridge between those two between those two mountains but um, I'm really enjoying Slovenia so far It's been a bit too steep to cycle, so I've walked almost all of it. But it wasn't that bad, it was only like an hour. And that's the top there. So I'm gonna cook some lunch and then cycle down. evening. Um, I stopped a bit earlier than I wanted to today but kind of had to because it's quite populated up ahead. I, I saw a couple of cities. Um, I've just turned off the road and there's like this disused, well it could still be used, it looks like a kind of bowls course or some sort of ball game here. Um, but yeah there's lovely flat ground, it's right next to the road I need to join tomorrow. Um, so, seems like a good spot. It's Friday night, so I need to be a bit more cautious than normal, but I can't imagine getting disturbed here. I keep seeing bear signs, and that's a bit worrying, but... Um, uh, yeah, everyone I've, I've spoken to said, there's, that said they're not as bad as wild boar, and I'm quite used to them now, so... Um, I'm not that worried until I get to the US, then I am worried of, about grizzly bears, but that's another worry for an, another time. Um, yeah, I was expecting to have to take another day before I got to Hungary if I went through Slovenia, but the road quality is so good here that I think I can still make it by Sunday, the day after tomorrow, which is my original plan anyway, um, but we'll see what happens tomorrow and the day after. Um, yeah, but as usual, I'm just going to relax a bit. Um, I might even read and do something constructive. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, set up the tent and sleep. Cool. Good morning. 
<clears throat> I slept quite well. Um, I fell asleep about 10 and woke up at 6, yeah, when my alarm went off. Um, yeah, which is making a nice change. It's nice to know that my my body and my brain are slowly getting used to being outside and not waking up at every tiny sound. Yeah, it's very quiet here, which is nice, even though the road's just there. But it means I can relax a bit in the morning and let my tent and my sleeping bag properly dry out. As opposed to packing everything in wet every day and then having to deal with the kind of like damp smell. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and smash out 100k today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting all of these videos together. It's going to be a big challenge because there's so much footage um, and I've never had to work this much into small chunks before but <sighs> yeah <laughs> I guess that's just what I have to deal with because I couldn't edit on along the way because it's yeah, far too expensive to stay somewhere with Wi-Fi. But anyway, um, I'm going to make breakfast, drink some berry tea and then head off. <laughs> Just uh, took over 100k. I'm gonna do about 10 or 20 more, and then it should be. Yeah, it's gonna be the same distance tomorrow, which I'm okay with. I didn't. Yeah, so I'm gonna get there tomorrow evening, unless I have like a big mechanical problem. Um. Yeah, the riding's been fairly normal. Um, just going through loads of like towns and cities and shopping centres and stuff. <clears throat> I've officially left the Alps now, which I'm a little bit sad about. Um, yeah, I mean the writing's gotten 10 times easier, but there's not as much to look at and there isn't water, free water every 10, 10k. So yeah, I'm running a bit low. I need to ask people, but it's always a bit awkward, <clears throat> especially since last time I checked, Slovenian wasn't a language in Google Translate. So I say, I tried like in four different languages. <laughs> like, vasa, agua, uh, water, mm. <laughs> and then, grazie, uh, danke schön, merci, cheers boss man. Um, I'm quite hot still. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna find somewhere to camp and call it a night really. I'm by a local lake. It's been very populated as I've been traveling. Um, so I kind of just had to settle for a green area on the map. Um, and I saw a guy uh, felling trees in a tractor on the way in. Um, and uh, yeah, I, 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 oh yeah, I found Google, yeah, I found Slovenian on Google Translate, which 
I don't think it had before. Um, asked him, da -da -da -da, I'm second in the world, can I stay here? And he's like, Neh. and then pointed at the lake. Um, there was a family there fishing, and I didn't ask them again because I thought, oh, they're probably visitors. I, I'm not sure. And also, families are really suspicious with young children if you ask to sleep near them. <laughs> um, but luckily I saw the tractor guy co go over and talk to them so he must have told them what's going on if they are sleeping here. Um, but either way I told the tractor guy I'd be leaving early so um, I can't... Yeah, I just need to pack up early but it's, it's, that's fine. Yeah, should be a, an alright night's sleep. Apart from the fact that these legs are full of fish that are eating each other. I don't know if you'll hear it now but every five minutes you hear a big splash where you see two of them jump out of the water at each other or something like that or one of them hunting ah, fuck. Um, I also really should have bought mosquito spray um, anyway I'm gonna set up the tent and go to sleep I'm eating breakfast by a um, uh, a war memorial from the 90s. The reason I'm eating here, I'm not sure whether it's disrespectful or not, but they've got free drinking water behind me, so um, it's just been very convenient to eat, eat breakfast here, but um, I hope it's okay. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to eat up and then um, get off. water that I collected this morning from the war memorial <clears throat> from the fountain I think it was contaminated with something um, or just really heavily chlorinated but it didn't taste good and then um, yeah sometimes if it doesn't taste good it's okay but <clears throat> when I drink it maybe five ten minutes later I feel a kind of like knot in my stomach and then I know, okay, that's going to make me sick. <laughs> so I've tipped out all my water and I'm going to try and ask a house for some. But also, so, so a lot of the water I've asked, I've, I've gotten from houses has also tasted fucked up. I don't know if it's just normal here or I, I don't know. But even if I wanted to play on the safe side and find a shop, it's Sunday. <clears throat> and so lots is closed but yeah I'm going to try and work out a solution but it's very hot and um, I've got no water and I feel sick so <laughs> yeah things should pan out they will do anyway, <laughs> push myself a bit too hard it's not bad it's just uh, 
I've done 100k already. Normally, this would be like I'd be do finishing this at like nine, and it's a, uh, like four or something. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just gonna take 20 minutes out and then get on the bike again. But I'm about an hour of riding away from my destination, which is nice. I'm digging deep. I'm about 10 minutes away. I'm gonna, I guess, end the video there. <laughs> it's the end of this. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, I'm really naked. Um, I'm glad, yeah, I can see the border there. I'm glad to be at the end of this stage. It's been really good. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, I'll do this again. Good day. <clears throat> it's three weeks after I last filmed. Um, I've basically been editing the whole time. <laughs> Um, but it's finally over, apart from all the editing I have to do for the rest of the world, but it's, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been in Hungary for three and a half weeks, which was, I planned to be there for like five days, so, yeah, I really underestimated how much editing I'd have to do. When I got back across my three cameras, I had 2,700 video clips to sort through, and I think that's been cut down into something like uh, nine or ten episodes between 20 and 40 minutes but um, and that's been done without internet because there's no internet here um, so it's been a bit of a challenge <laughs> um, I have had internet to upload but I've got to travel somewhere else to do it um, but anyway enough complaining uh, tomorrow I'm heading off to Croatia and I'm finally I'm finally traveling again so yeah I'm gonna do a big tour of the Balkans and then I should be in Istanbul in about three to four weeks <sighs> um, but yeah really looking forward to it um, thanks for watching and yeah I'll see you in the next episode